So now, let's walk through how we send personalized bulk messages to clients or potential clients. The first thing we need to do is download a sample of the Excel format that we actually need to have um, our sheet of information in already. So obviously I've already got one which I'll open for you here now. Okay. So as you can see all numbers should just start with the country code and then there should be a field for name. If there are other variables that you want to use, so for example order number, that will be another sheet that you just fill, another uh, field of information that you fill in there until you end up with a sheet that looks something like this, right? Ignore my message over there, where you've got the number, the name, the order number, and the amount, okay? We are going to upload um, a list of information for clients, and this could be, doesn't matter whether it's three as I have here, or it is hundreds or thousands of names and different variables. You can upload and personalize these messages accordingly. Tip one, if you've written name with a capital M, then make sure when we use it on our systems, it's a capital M as well. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so firstly, let's type our message. So, hello, the person's name. Uh, this is an order summary of the person's name, the order number. Note, the order number field has no space and neither does this variable as well. Okay, so how do we create these variables? It's the name of the field, the exact name, plus um, two parentheses, double parentheses on it. Now I'm going to upload my list. So I click Upload Excel List. It opens up my contact list. And now I'm just going to look for my sample file, my test file. That's what I've been calling it. And now I'm uploading those names, numbers. Always starts with a number, then the name then the order number, then the amount that I want to send out. Okay, because it's only three names, I can make sure that the delays are a lot less. Like I can say after two um, seconds, two to five seconds, after six seconds, you can wait two seconds and then you can wait one second to three seconds because it's only five people. Okay, at this point, if I wanted to add a button, I could click here, add a button, give the button a title, button, and obviously if it's going to be a call to action button or a reply button, or call to action button should equal a um, URL, call to action button, and what would be the button text, pay now, and then of course it's either a link or phone number depending on whether or not Um, you've asked for callback or you know a specific site to go to so now we have a button which will be in the footer I'm not going to add any footer text and I'm going to say add my button so my button's been added okay same same applies with the um, the polls and now I'm going to start my campaign so I've loaded up my information along with any of the variables that I'd like um, in the message, as you can see with the parentheses, the double parentheses, I have um, sort of made where these actual variables will go into. And then I'm going to start the campaign. I have a choice firstly to see out of which uh, WhatsApp account I'm going to mail. And I'm going to do it from my own, which is marked as the primary year. And then I'm going to actually say, yes, you can do it from the primary account. I'm going to put it on safe mode because these are all friendly numbers.
Now I click initiate. It's busy opening the account it's going to message from. Okay, I can just minimize that and I can start it. I'm now starting the campaign. You can see some notes here at the bottom. There's always going to be a bit of guiding notes here that you need to keep the application open while you're sending. You need to um, make sure that you're using the software in terms with the WhatsApp guidelines. And now you can see the report and you have the choice of downloading the report, but it will look exactly the same way. Congratulations, you've now sent a bulk message. And what we can actually do is, here we go. We can have a look at what those messages look like. So, yeah, you can see, instead of it saying, um, hello name, it says, hello, Ethan, order number for Ethan, uh, somebody for Ethan, order number specific to the account, the amount, and of course, just saying it's sending. I'll move this a bit aside, and you can also see that button. And it's done so for each one of the people can see the variables are unique to the client that we put on if you don't want to have a title at the top of um, your message then you don't have to um, fill that in or you could just um, title it something that you find uh, you'd want to use congratulations